Inside Dope Campbell. Logan Tyler puts toe to leather, and we're underway. And he's going to power this one all the way back out of the back of the end zone, and we'll get an opportunity to see UL what transpired last week against Boise State. Third down now for ULM. On the rollout, hits his receiver. That's going to be Marquise McCray. Uh, incomplete. McCray was not able to hang on. Back to punt to the Warhawks. DJ Matthews back to receive the kick for Florida State. Good punt from Porter. Matthews underneath it at his own 24. Makes the first man miss. Bumps into his own man. Still on his feet. Or spinning down. He'll be dropped at the 30-yard line. Manageable to this offensive coordinator. Let's see what they have going on to get this first down. Slack is going to come out here. Find Matthews. Tries to make a couple of guys miss. He does. And he's brought down right at the first down yard marker. Now Blackman. The handoff this time. Plenty of room for Akers. Into the secondary. Nick Yanker was there to make the stop, but not before a 10 yard gain from Cam Akers. This is perfect momentum. They're building these long drives that they can sustain. Not necessarily the gigantic 50 yard Akers. plays, but here it goes right there. Sometimes the secondary. And defensively, ULM is on their heels. Now look how fast Florida State's going. And right when he gets through the hole, watch on the edge of your screen, right in the middle there, number seven. Do it! Do Stops. It! We get to the pylon, he does. <laughs> the 16-yard returns, take another look at the score. And Cam Akers is patient, and he bounces outside. Right here on the left side of your screen, that's where you see DJ Matthews come in and make another huge block. Right here, he springs the crease for Cam Akers. It, it doesn't look like there's anyone around him. That's because the wide receivers are making the most of it. Caleb Evans, the senior from Mansfield, Texas. Back spot, again, handing off to Johnson. He gets free, he gets the first down. Great. Get him running as this quarter goes on. Third five now for ULM. Evans has some time, steps up, tries to hit a receiver in the double coverage, trying to get his tight end. Cannot, a flag comes down, no late. Hill and, and getting the run stopped. So another third down for Caleb Evans and company. Rush comes, now he's going to get dropped. Corey Dern and company were there to drop Evans on third down. Better of that collision. Whoop, jumped off sides, could be a free play here. They do have a free play, Blackman. Surveying the field, he gets another block. Avoids the rush, oh. now he gets hit, balls up in the air, and it's gonna be intercepted. Intercepted and out of bounds by Austin Hawley. Fortunately for Blackwood and the Knowles, this one's almost certainly coming back. Play from the sideline, the Bryles. Cam Akers, a little lower his shoulder. Spins out too, picks up about five yards on the play. And used his arm strength to zip the ball in there. Feet Akers. A little bit of a seam, picks up about four before Donald Lewis Jr. is there to drop him. From the sideline, Bryles, not up in the booth, he's down on the sideline. Blackman has a receiver open, hits him. There's one move, but he's staying, no, now he's out of bounds. Player who has great ball skills and needs to get the ball early in this game. Mayburn, just pauses enough. He'll pick up another Seminole first down, deliberate in this drop. See how confident they feel with their defensive backs that they bring their linebackers. Back to the face. It's his tight end. Wide open over the middle. He walks into the end zone. Rayshon Harrison in the slot. This replay, the linebackers bite up on the run fake. It's just as bad as blitzing them. And right now they line up with two guys in the same spot. Going to show up on the field. Big third down here for Louisiana Monroe. And they'll pick it up. Really tee off and look for pressure because Harlan Barnett said we did not pressure enough on third down last week. Let's see if they get after the quarterback here. Yeah, he said he got a little cute. Gets over there in his fourth year coaching this ULM team. Quarterback to punt. Just gets it away. Pressure. Not a bad punt. But Matthews on the run. The field. This has got to scare the special teams coordinator to death. Right here, doesn't single for a fair catch. He's free game. Once he catches the ball, he can be hit, but he sneaks around ULM. Many of them last week, not too many of them this week. Let's see if they can convert. Blackman, 
quick throw. Again, same as that touchdown play, and this time it's going to get him a first down. He is Trayshawn Harrison again, 16 yards on the pitching catch. The second quarter here in Tallahassee, Knowles facing a third and seven. Blackman fires it. Nope. Flag down, though. Corey Strauder may have been guilty of getting there a little bit early. That's the one place James Blackman can throw it high and back towards Blackman's the line of scrimmage. This time and score. And Terry made it nice play on the receiving end for James Blackman. And James Blackman used his feet, made himself a threat, and got in the end zone himself at the far five-yard line. And now James Blackman pulls and does it himself. Great read on the edge on the pull option. He almost <laughs> lost the football on his shoulder pad, but guess what? He did not sprint. And not only did he tackle him, man, that's a big boy falling down on top of you. Caleb Evans must have felt that one. Evans hits a tight end. Gets the first down before being brought down. Nice play design that time. Those heat's wearing on these boys. Evans almost intercepted. Decreases the loft on the pass, and it just goes a little bit too far out of the reach of his receiver. Fake to Akers. Now the pressure coming. He isn't able to step up in the pocket. That pocket just collapsed around him. President, he coached the D-line in the offseason. He is nasty on the field. And guess what he wants to do after he's done playing? He wants to go to law school. Evans. Good pass. See, we got a nice block downfield. It's going to be a first down for the Warhawks. Thank you, Johnson. Evans now going up top. Flag on the play. He's looking for Jonathan Hoda. to Johnson. He has an opening to the 30. Still on his feet to the 20 and knocked out of bounds inside the 20-yard line for another first down. 22 yards on the carry. Watch right here. 23 comes in and number, number six, Jaden Lars Whippy jumped around his block and then we had another missed tackle down the field. This is what plagued Florida State's defense just toughen up and go through the blocker to make the tackle. Evans back to pass. Pump fake now goes into the end zone. And overshoots his tar intended target. We've got another flag on the play. For a running back at any level, but especially against this big, massive Florida State front. Evans trying to get to the corner, doesn't get into the end zone, though, and puts the ball on the carpet. Now he does get in. Touchdown. The end zone, which results in a touchdown. That's exactly right. The ball, although he, it looked like he would have been down. Yeah, They're no. going to review this, and I think he's going to be down before the fumble, which means... It'll be ULM ball, but it won't be a touchdown. It's a heads-up play by Tyler Lamb. He sees the ball on the ground. And a play right now that you remember later in the season against a ULM team getting a stop down on the one-yard line. Evans, the handoff to Johnson. He's going to be turned back. Marvin Wilson and company there. You're going to get down here that often. You need to go and punch it into the, into the end zone. And if not, worse happens, you have them backed up their own one. Evans, the fake. Now he's looking to throw off target. Black from his own end with a pump. Rush coming. Does connect with his receiver. That's Tamari Terry. Running duties. Running from his own end zone, as you said, Mark. Gets this one off. Batiste fumbles it initially, but picks it up. Finally falls at the 43. So good field position. One, they should probably go for it on fourth. Has the receiver open. Oh, almost a great one-handed catch. Let's see if they'll get the ball in the hands of their playmaker, Josh Johnson. They do not. Evans rolling. He does on the pass, though. Johnson with the catch. Hit immediately, but bounces off the defender and picks up the first. Sideline. And when we, car we talked to Coach Harlan Barnett, he said if he saw that, he was going to take whoever committed that off the field. Evans with the pump fake, and he hits his receiver for the score. Josh Peterson got behind the defense and finds the end zone on a 33-yard strike from Caleb Evans. When you have a tight end matched up on a smaller corner like Stanford Samuels, you really just want to throw it up. He actually you know, beat Samuels. It's snot out of him. It was not good for Syracuse. And Dino Babers back to the drawing board. Meeks puts total leather here and an opportunity for Keyshawn Help. First time he called his name, they had a lot of room. 30 to the 40. Has a man that beats the kicker and he can't, but he gets the ball out to midfield. 
You want to get, get the ball in, last week, yeah. Yep, you want to get the ball in your playmaker's hands, and he uses his speed here. Great blocks on the outside to keep the defenders at bay, and then, gosh, you, he's going to get he's going to get a little hazing by his teammates in the meeting room. You do not right back to the block tackles, missed tackles, and penalties, extending drives. Here's Akers. Staying on his feet, trying to find that first down yard marker. Won't get there, though. Travian Webster going is, for it. hidden on all cylinders, and this is... Fourth and four. Know, fourth and four is a tough play call. Blackman back to throw. Defended nicely on the play. No flag. Josh Newton is there now. The oh. flags come in late. And on that lineup initially, that was interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Now he lines up next to the right tackle. A little more traditional here. Akers. Bust free. Still churning those legs, and he'll be close to another first down. Saving that uh, big play, getting the ankle tackle. He's one of their speediest defense or speediest linebackers. He looks like a defensive back. Akers trying to dance out of the hold of a couple of Warhawks. He cannot do it. Chase Day and company there to drop for a loss. Now fourth down. A six yard attempt by Ricky Aguayo. Snap is good, hold is good. Aguayo's kick. Just squeezes inside the left upright. Also had a very efficient first half, although he was hit, probably hit more than Kendall Bryles and company would like it. Akers wide open, stays on his feet, powers through the initial tackler. Nick Ingram bringing him down, but not after, not before a 12-yard gain. We're going to just stop it at all costs, beat us some other way. Well, they're going to have to here, third and long. Black back to pass. Little hitch, now he's going to take off and run with it. The ball carrier took him down and allowed no extra yards. Something that's been preached to him all week. Third and four. Johnson now out of the backfield. Oh, tough. Boy, dangerous play behind his receiver. Batiste couldn't make the grab. Now ULM is forced to punt out of their own end zone. Something we saw Florida State do earlier in the game. Matthews calls for a fair catch. Makes it at his own 40. That's where the Knowles. Oh, in the NFL. And his ability to be patient in the backfield and burst through the line of scrimmage when he sees that hole open. Slap the arm, hit as he threw. Now we're going to get a call on the play. Several flags in the backfield. This, these big boys on defense are going to be talking to their quarterbacks. Say, hey man, you got to keep, you got to keep our, the ball in our hands so we don't have to keep going out there and getting 100 plays a game. But he makes oh, the fair catch this boy. time. And now the flags are coming out. Yeah, that was obvious. Here in Tallahassee with the tough year he had. Of course, just the a couple of years later, he was taken to the Orange Bowls against Oklahoma. Evans, underneath. Moving the chains and keeping their drives alive. Inside of 10 minutes to play here in this third quarter. Fake to Vaughn, sidearm toss, nice catch. And a big play, fumble though. Ball still loose, drum it forward at the 35 yard line. Two Florida State players were right there on it. Look right here. Nazrul Dean comes in and punches the ball. It's a great job when the runner is already wrapped up. Go in and punch the ball out. And look, that looks all too familiar from last week where two guys try to get the ball and run with it. No one gets it cleanly. But Lars Woodby is able to come out of the bottom of the pile with it. But right here, when the ball's on the ground, you got to just yeah. fall on it. Don't try to pick it up. Michaela Labor in the game for Florida State. Frank and Black, but he'll get the carry. Scoots through there, now bounces it outside. Another great move. He passed midfield and dragged down at the 50 by Tyler Glass. Wasn't after he punctured right up through the middle of that UL. Oh, he goes, oh, and could go the distance. Picked off by Strotter. He's got Blackman giving chase. Cuts it back inside. He'll score. 58 yards on the return. What a turn of events that is. Big problems. Watch here as Blackman drops back. He thinks his receiver is going to continue or even stop on the route. Terry just continues down the field and throws it right to the defender. Third and long is not the way you get it back, and that's for sure. And they've had a lot of third and long so far this half. Blackman now back to pass. As time gets to Matthew, spins out of the first tackle. Makes a great move to avoid another one. Gets close to midfield and picks up the first down. Hey. Tops in motion. Flag on the play. Blackman hits his receiver. That's a crossing route by Gavin. Oh, Gavin still on his feet. Falls out. The football, and it's picked up by ULM. Look at it right here. Good stiff arm, but you want to 
you got to protect the ball, and the ball gets a little bit too far away from his byline. They are, they did not do a good job last year of getting turnovers on their defense. They have been doing a fantastic job in this second half of getting the ball back in their offense's hands. Evans flushed out of the pocket, finds the receiver. Both states on the sideline trying to get their fans engaged and say, hey, look, we need you right now. We need this momentum back on our side. Give us some help. Evans, Peterson. Stiff arms gets to about the 21. Another first down. Second quarter. Hadn't had much reason to shout. Johnson now bounces it outside. Look at the tough running. Inside the 15. Inside of about the 12-yard line before Nas finally brings him down. He's running hard. That's not the type of shouting you were talking about. They are going to be screaming. Number six, Lars would be thought it was a pass even though the ball was clearly in the running back's hands. Backs up away from the line of scrimmage. That's where he needs to scrape out us with the running back off the edge. Nine yards for Johnson on that play. He'll try it again. Dives close to that marker. Looks like he'll pick up the first down. In terms of the weight loss department, I, I don't know if I can shed pounds that far. It's pretty good. They need him to come up big here in the middle. Johnson back in. Evans now keeps it. Has a blocker in front of him. When he gets to the corner, hits the pylon. Touchdown! Wow, this... We talked about him not being scared of the moment. Played at big places before, and as he reaches out with this left hand, the ruling on the field right the there, the ball the crosses the plane. Further review. Inside of the pylon, that is a touchdown all the way. Great awareness getting to the edge. Once again, it came down to the missed assignment. It's, it's something that this is a big third down. Akers hammers his way to it. They'll move the chains. Meaning trying to force things. They're settling in in their play calling and giving some plays that will help, hopefully help James Blackman, but that's not gonna help him right there as Donald Lewis gets in the backfield for a set. Blackman, a frustrating look over to the bench. And gosh, just an absolute blown as superior skill on the outside and that they could get behind this defense. We haven't seen them go up top very much at all. There's Cam. Stays on his feet, dragging a defender. First and five, got these trips receivers on the top of your screen. Akers, lots of room to run. Inside the 25, knocked out of bounds at about the 23. Another first down for the Knowles. Three receivers again on the bottom of your screen. Akers in the backfield. Akers will get the handoff, lowers his shoulder. Now powering his way inside the 10, inside the five. What an individual effort for Akers. 13 yards on the carry, first and goal for Florida State. And Cam Akers got a little help at the end of this. Big number 32, potential lead blocker. Fake to Cam, touchdown. DJ Matthews. Take a shot right there from his own player. But DJ Matthews is able to get inside his corner defender and find an open spot. Linebackers were sucked up on the run play again. It looks like there was a miss. After the play, a sportsmanlike conduct. Kicking team number 44. This is his first unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. It'll be 15 yards added to the touchback spot. Automatic first down. Florida State showing blitz. They're up towards the line of scrimmage. See if they come after him. Coming. Gets it to McCray. That's a first down. That game's about three hours long. It's been hot here all afternoon. Close to a first down again. McCray this time. A little shovel pass. Again the fake to Johnson. Quick pass to McCray. Backers scared of committing up on the run and then running the ball right down the throat. Going for Xavier, makes the catch oh. inside the five. <laughs> Xavier Boy. Brown, one of the captains of this ULM team, needed him. Caleb Evans throws an absolute dime right here. Brown and Xavier Brown, I can't tell you how hard that is to twist all the way around your body. Now getting it to his receiver and the get flat. up field. Xavier Brown Rolling again. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Flag. That's going to go against Xavier Brown for spiking the football after the play. Great play, but then you just give up field position on the kickoff. We got a great a angle here. Scored. Yep, looks like he gets the ball across the line. 
before Nasal Dean is able to bring him down. Spins, nothing touches the ground until the ball crosses the plane. And it's a real six. Yeah, and it's a really good thing he did score that touchdown because if that was a you know dead ball foul and he hadn't scored the touchdown. Third and twelve for the Knowles. Pressure coming back and gets rid of it, and it's intercepted. Intercepted on the play by Chase Day. Blackman felt the pressure and got rid of it. It ended up right in Chase Day's breadbasket. Let's see this, if this ball gets tipped at all. Nope. Chase Day just kind of leaks right back out. He, he knew he wasn't going to get any pressure. It's a, a defender Blackman did not account for. And that's one of the things you look for from your leaders. How's his body language? Johnson wide open, state? has plenty of room to roam. Inside the 25, inside the 20, head down and gets inside the 15. Florida State's all crammed up inside. Let's see if they get the ball on the edge. Hand off to Johnson over the top. Touchdown. His second of the night. This crowd is silent. Absolutely fantastic job on this run. He sees Florida State. Clogging up the line low. And talking to Willie Taggart, how do you handle adversity as a team? Well, this is about as much as you're going to get. Terry makes the catch, picks up a first down. Certainly we've seen over the years as being a team 10, 11, 12 win kind of a team. This is Louisiana Monroe out of the Sunbelt Conference. Yeah, Not to take anything away from right. Louisiana Monroe. And again, I think regardless of their outcome, this is a team you got to talk about. And if you have them on your schedule, you got to watch out. Watch out Oops, for this. Right here. Now with the screen, has blockers in front of him. 25, 20, cuts it back. Inside the 15, has one more blocker. Can he get into the end zone? Yes! Wow, and we have the... The crowd likes that one. Will Caleb Evans do? These teams have combined for 28 points in the last nine minutes here in the fourth quarter. Johnson. This has been so much fun watching these two tailbacks go Got a head flag to head. Out there Another late. flag here late. Look at the top of your screen. Let's see if the linebacker comes. He does come. Evans in the pocket over the middle. Hits his receiver for a first down. That's Xavier Brown. Another big catch. Fagan brings him down, but not before a 17-yard gain and another first down. Sitting back in zone defense on third downs, not being aggressive there. He was aggressive and got burned. Johnson. Fumble. Looks like Caleb Evans was there to fall on it. For what must have seemed like an eternity for Evans. Big hit from outside in. Third down and 12. Evans over the middle, hits his tight end, that's going to be a first down. How about this play and the poise of Caleb Evans hanging in the pocket. He finds his big tight end, Tyler Lamb. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No over people catching balls, and he comes up with a big stop there. Vaughn. On the outside, Evans keeps it. Close to another first down. I think he got it before Nas... Forced him out. Evans over the middle. Hits his receiver inside the 10. Out of bounds at about the 7-yard line. Let's see what they spot it right at the 7. So it'll bring up 4th down and 3. 4-yard attempt here by Meeks. Snap is down. Meeks puts it through. And we're tied. The last time they tried a big field return, try to use some of the speed of the back end guys that was played soundly by ULM. Have no return here. The fair catch is called for. Yeah, help makes the fair catch, 25 yard line. Last play, he had a tight end for a six yard route, just missed him. Out of the timeout. The fake to Akers. Now back to Matthews. Can he make a man miss? Cannot. Oh, my goodness. One territory they could have gone for yeah. it. Right now, you're going to give the ball back to the hot hand. High punt, Batiste. Calling for a fair catch at his own 30, makes it. He could have taken sacks and played really well. Crowd trying to get into it here. Doe Campbell, pressure coming. Evans eludes it at first. Now quickly out to Johnson, who juggles it, but makes the catch. Tends to get back on track play. Sometimes you see screens. He might get one, nope. Evans keeps it. Tries to find an opening. 
Picks up five. Much time if they if they have designs on going down and scoring points. Evans. It's a receiver and a nice defensive play. Beautifully knocked away by Stanford Samuels. No one spread out wide for ULM. Porter gets it off. Good kick, too. This will bounce it. for a little while. Don't. Yeah, let it go. Oh, wow. Don't. Okay. okay. Black is going to hand it to Akers. Let's see what he can do. Picks up 10, maybe 12 before stepping out of bounds. Three seconds left. They'll have time for one more play. Sweeney on the stop. Thinking your guy is better than their guy and has a better shot. Better than 50-50. Akers. That makes a man miss. 45. Out of bounds. And we are going to overtime here in Doak Campbell. Blackman. Pressure coming. Gets it off underneath. And it's complete for the first down. That's McKinney is tight end. Sweeney was there for the stop. He to go right up the gut. And they do. Score. Of course, number three. You pegged it. And it worked. Sometimes, even though you know the play is coming, it's just impossible to stop. Take a look again at how he's able to just burst right through and drags tacklers along with him and extends the ball over the goal line. Gives a two. And this is why they chose to go on defense first. They wanted to see what Florida State did it would dictate their plan of attack. Peterson down to the five. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> how about that Oswald D brings him down. Fast. And you have Dottavius Jackson, the middle of your screen, number they five. Up. Peterson comes. Johnson gets a couple. He works in right behind him. And... Second down at goal. Evans gets a block from number eight. He walks in. Wow. Catches Florida State off guard. And watch number eight, Josh Johnson, right there. Gets a block. Just descended into a second OT. Oh my! Florida State wins! 